Welcome to our video demonstrating the basic configuration of a File Catalyst hot folder client. In order for the client to connect to the server, you must add a site, select or create a hot folder, and schedule a transfer task. The first thing we'll do before we forget is make sure our bandwidth is set appropriately. The default speed is T1, which may not be your actual link speed. First, select the bandwidth scheduler. Next, drag out across all the cells in the timetable. Then, right click or option click and select an appropriate speed. There is the ability to set particular hours or particular days to different bandwidths, so you have the option to speed up or slow down depending on the time of day and the day of the week. For now, we're just going to leave it as a fast Ethernet connection across the board. Let's add a site, which is our user account on the File Catalyst server. Go to the Site Manager, and instead of editing the default, let's just add a new site by clicking the Add New Site button. A wizard appears guiding you through adding the new site. Enter an arbitrary name into the site ID field. Of course, it makes sense to pick something that you'll remember. In this case, I'm imagining that I have a File Catalyst server set up in Los Angeles that I wish to connect to. Unless otherwise instructed, the site type should remain File Catalyst. Host is the domain or IP at which the File Catalyst server is reached. Typically, this will be a public IP address, or a domain name. For the purposes of this demonstration, you can see that I have a local host. Unless otherwise instructed, the port can stay as 21. I will go ahead and enable authentication, since my File Catalyst server administrator has already given me a username and password. I will enter those into the appropriate fields and leave the HTTP servlet URL blank. Click Next, which will attempt a connection to the File Catalyst server. If successful, you will be notified, and you can go ahead and click the Finish button to exit the wizard. We have a site now, but we need to define at least one hot folder. Select hot folders on the left. Instead of editing the default, Let's press the Add New Hot Folder button to launch a wizard. The hot folder ID is arbitrary, but you should make it something you'll remember. The hot folder location is the root directory for your files. I already know where mine is, so I'll go ahead and enter it manually. Alternatively, you can browse for your folder. The hot folder name is essentially a subfolder of the hot folder location. I personally prefer to use just the one field, so I tend to make this optional field blank. Once your hot folder has been defined, it's a good idea to click browse to make sure you've defined the location correctly. The last thing we need to do to make a connection is to find a task in the scheduler. I'm going to go ahead and delete the default task, and then click the New button to create a new one. Another wizard launches, guiding you through the basics. Task name is arbitrary. Just make it something you'll remember. Select the site we've created, and the hot folder we created. And finally, choose a direction for the transfer. In this case, we will upload files to the server. Reference time serves as a point of origin and does not reflect the time of the first run. In almost all cases, you can just leave it at default. Set the task to repeat as often as you need. You may only wish to transfer on certain days of the week. Uncheck any days you do not want to transfer. For this demonstration, I want to transfer on demand only, so I will uncheck each day of the week.
For advanced options, select your task, click the Edit button. The first two tabs represent the choices made in the wizard, while the rest contain more granular options for fine-tuning your task. But we'll save those for another video. If you have set the scheduler to repeat every minute on every day of the week as per the default, you should see your transfer starting automatically at any moment. In my case, I need to select the task and manually execute. The status column shows the progress in terms of a percentage, or you can get more granular information by pressing the activity button. That's it. We've successfully connected to the File Catalyst server. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check the File Catalyst website or our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials.